All right, guys, look at this. <clears throat> Found an old box that didn't quite match my statue boxes. That's Batman. Let's take this out and get a look. Oh, ow. Oh, God. Oh. What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics. Before we dive into today's video, guys, I want you to pop into the comments what is the best or worst comic you ever lost or misplaced. And then once you're done typing that, go over to your parents' house, dig through their attic, and see if you can't find it. Because that's what just happened to me. Some of these books, I have been wondering where the hell they've been. I think what must have happened is I must have had a pile of comics somewhere and my parents were tired of looking at it, so they just put it in a box and put it in the attic. I found some awesome books. So we're gonna dive in today, guys. All right. <clears throat> Oh, I might need two hands for this. <sighs> Yikes. All right. Mysterious comic books found randomly in my parents' attic. Let's check it out. Okay. Some old camera. I think this was my mom's camera from college. Kind of hard to do one-handed. Oh, that's cool. Um, any camera people will have to let me know if that's uh, something. I kind of remember this. She gave me this when I was a kid. Wow. I don't think I've seen that in like eight or nine years. We've got an Etch-a-Sketch with a castle drawn on. All right, what else is in here? <laughs> okay. Um, what is that? Canadian? Chuck E. Cheese! Chuck E. Cheese! Is Chuck E. Cheese even still open? Wow. So guys, I think this is actually a letter from my grandpa I just found after I removed the box. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Wow. I actually think I know what this is. What is, is this? Oh boy, okay. You guys don't need to see that. <laughs> okay, so judging by that letter I just found from my ex, the greatest treasure of them all, no, um, that makes me think that this box is probably about maybe seven years old. Uh, maybe eight years old, I don't know. Um, I don't remember putting this in the attic. I don't know if this was something that I had lying around and maybe my parents just put into the attic because they were tired of seeing it all over the place. Uh, I'm not sure, but let's take a look at some of the stuff. So we got Batman and Robin Adventures Annual, and I got to put the camera down because there's a few uh, comics in between. So let's take a look. All right, so it looks like I had put everything into a bunch, or maybe my dad did this, I don't know, of Batman and Robin adventures. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, wow, these are actually in pretty decent shape. Wow, okay. I think uh, there's some value in that annual. That's pretty cool. Um, awesome. Uh, let's keep it going. Nice! Alright, just one comic in this one. Very nice. Uh, let's put that over there. Oh! <laughs> Always a good sign, guys. Very nice. Wait a second. <laughs> There's another one in here. Let me put the camera down. Oh, yeah. Check it out. 
Spawn one and nine. If you're gonna have some spawn issues, these are the ones you'll want. Jeez. Wow. Uh, decent shape, actually. Oops, sorry for the microphone. Let's put that. Okay, I need to get these things in real bag and boards right away. If this was me that put this all together, I'm a little ashamed to be having this on camera right now. But, uh, hmm. All right, already we got another key. Pretty common one, though. Batman 497. Very nice. See if there's anything hiding. Yep, yeah, there's another one. I guess that's how this whole batch is going to go. Oh, nice. Okay. Looks like I put... Uh, a couple big issues from 1993 together. I think I can see the method to my madness. I wanted to keep similar things together. So we got Superman 75, Death of Superman, and also Batman 497, The Breaking of Bane. Uh, first print. I think both of these are first print. Nice. Oh, DC Universe logo. Okay. I knew I had one of these before. Oh, I've been wondering where the heck this went. Oh, man. I need to get that in Mylar. That's what I need to do. All right, keeping the 90s together. It looks like we have a very 90s batch here. This uh, is all, oop, hold on. That's gonna go well. I'll put that over there. Okay. All right, looks like we're down to single comics now. Some Green Lantern. Very nice. I think that's the death of Kyle Rayner's uh, girlfriend. Oh, one of my favorite books. I actually uh, did this in my underrated uh, DC comics that no one ever talks about. Uh, the whole Spectre series is great, but this particular issue is awesome. Oh yeah, Race War, Predator. Yeah, this is uh, this is great. The art's pretty crazy in this. Super bloody, super awesome. I remember this book. Uh, we got some Green Lantern. Oh, hold on. I did the thing again. All right. I wish I could one hand this. Let's see. Now nah, I gotta put the camera down. All right, so looks like we got a couple uh, Green Lanterns. Actually, they're pretty high grade. I'm keeping uh, an eye out for like mouse poop and or like mouse bites since this was in their attic. I'm not seeing a single thing, so that's good. Very nice. It looks like I did it again. Another three pack. I'm trying to do this one handed for you guys. It's really difficult. Green Lantern. I think, um, if I remember my mentality, because this is almost a decade ago that I've touched these books, I think I um, enjoyed these particularly because they were high grade. I don't know. I honestly, I don't remember. I don't know why I have these. These are actually all duplicates because I have a long box full of uh, full of my Green Lantern. So this is interesting to find these. Okay. Anybody know what that is? That's the first appearance of Lady Shiva. How's the condition? Uh, wow. Uh, 
Um, pretty freaking solid, actually. All right. I'll take the first appearance of Lady Shiva. Wow. Who knows what I'll get? I'm, I think that's uh, CGC-able. I might uh, get that graded. Um, see anything hiding? No, just that one. Okay. Oh! Oh, I remember this now. I remember. Is there a couple? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember. Ooh, man, I'm hesitant to take that out. Looks like there's only one board in there. What the heck was I doing back then? Ugh. All right, I have to be really careful because this is a, a nice 12 cent cover. I'm gonna put this separate. Oh, I'm gonna put the camera down. I don't wanna mess this up. Okay, yeah, there were a couple in there. Uh, some nice silver age, uh, decently high grade actually. Cool. Wow, uh, looks like some more Green Lantern. The problem is these are kind of uh, a little bit boring for you viewers because uh, there I don't think there are any keys hiding in there. But let me open it up just in case there are. Um, actually, 20 is a small key. Uh, it's the first appearance of Bodica, um, which is a pretty notable Green Lantern character in the 90s and up. So actually, that's a good find. Um, and it's a newsstand from 1992 and it's surprisingly high grade so I might also send that to CGC. Jeez. Looks like we got some more Green Lantern. Same thing, I'll open it up. See if there's any keys hiding. Nope, uh, just some pretty random Green Lantern books. All newsstand though. So I don't remember where I got these, but that's pretty cool. Green Lantern. I wonder if the rest of this is Green Lantern. Yeah. Uh, there are four in that one. Um, guys, by the way, I don't recommend doing what I did here. Um, clearly, uh, current me, wiser me, would say don't do this to younger me. Uh, don't shove three to four books all in one bag. Just get individual bags for each book. Don't, don't, don't play games. All right, let's put that away. All right. Green Lantern. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let me just make sure. I just want to see if there's any keys in here. I'll have to check that out later. I want to get to this. New stand. Granted, this is like 79, so pretty much everything was a new stand. I actually think that if you find the direct edition of these, it's a much bigger deal. But hey, look, man, I just found a She-Hulk number one that was sitting in my parents' freaking attic, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's actually pretty high grade. Uh, it's it's uh, off-white pages, but, um... First appearance and origin of She-Hulk. Wow. Okay, that's, uh... I'll put that in that pile. It's a little older. You know, I don't remember ever losing a She-Hulk. Just goes to show you how much bigger that book is now. I think even just seven to eight years ago... It wasn't that big of a deal, maybe. I don't know. I still feel like it was kind of a big deal, but hey. Oh, um, who's this? First Scream? Who's that? We got Spidey Venom. Is that Scream or is it the other one? Ah, oh, crap, I forget. Ooh. I see some red foil. I think I know what that means. I think I know what that means. Let's see. I'm going to be real careful. Yes, sir. Ooh, that's pretty sharp. Wow. 
Oh, those two look nice together. I'll put those right there. Wow. Sweet deal. Okay. All right, guys. And that's uh, the end. Oh, there's a couple books in here. Let's see. Um, you guys know what that is, right? First appearance of Omega Red. And I think, I think there's two in here. So let's take a look. Now this I did know I was missing. So I've been curious and I've even talked about it on this channel. My missing X-Men 4s. So yeah, there it is. One and two. Oh, snap. Is there three? Oh, yeah. Whoa. -ho -ho. Is there more? No. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. Um, I'll take it. What's the grade on these things? Pretty high grade. Damn. Are you are you kidding me? Oh man. You know, here I am like going to yard sales and flea markets, all this stuff. Apparently I just needed to go to my parents' house and try to get some boxes out for statues. Damn. Yeah, guys, I think when I say at the end of my videos, keep on hunting, usually that means out in the wild. Flea markets, eBay, auction houses. Well, apparently, in some cases, just go check out your parents' attic. Unfortunately, the case of the missing Nightwing is totally still outstanding, and all the Pokemon cards I used to have, my parents did throw that out when I went to college. So. I was kind of hoping to find some Pokemon cards in here, maybe, but oh well. I'm very happy with that. Hey, I got a first uh, She-Hulk out of it. So anyway, guys, keep on hunting.